The athlete who won gold in the men's 100 meter at Tokyo's 1964 switched to another sport. Can you guess what he switched to? Think of a sport that needs fast runners. I'm thinking of hurdles, relays, um, oh, maybe long jump for a good running start. American football. In the Tokyo 1964 final, he tied the world record at the time, 10 seconds. He ran even faster at the semifinal, 9.9 .9 seconds. But the win helped. Uh oh. Well, I wanted to do this. When you are an athlete in the long jump event, you have to get your timing right or you might make a mistake by running past the takeoff board without jumping. What happens if you do that? It's a foul. If an athlete steps beyond the takeoff board, that's a foul. So you have to be really careful. Oh, apparently that one goes to the map too. Alright. Well, anyway, welcome back. We're in the 8-bit world of the Tokyo 1964 Olympics, and we're going to go to this glowing spot here. I thought I'd start here because there was some trivia there. Start the episode off with some tri trivia. Anyway, we're going to the Tokyo Roads. Mario! Sonic! I just spotted someone who looked like Eggman get into a taxi just now! Eggman in a taxi? I'm aware my voice was loud in the previous part, so uh, I'm kind of talking a bit low now. Hopefully it's not too low or somehow too loud. But we'll see how it goes. He was just competing, right? Did something happen? Maybe he's planning to take that taxi to you know where. Can you tell us anything about the taxi? Let's see, well, it was red. Thanks, Toad. Time for a quick run to find that red taxi. You're not getting away, Eggman. When did Sonic make his worldwide game debut? 1991, Sonic the Hedgehog. Sonic made his debut in a racing game, but only as a mascot. Luckily, a short time later, Sonic got to be the star of his very own action game. So I got the year right, but the game wrong? I got the year right. They say many of Tokyo's expressways are built on landfill where rivers and waterways once flowed. It used to be that Japan's roads were mostly unpaved, but finally Japan opened its first major paved road and only cars were allowed to use it. Do you know when the road opened? 1961. After that road was open, many more roads were built. This made it easy for people in Japan to get to the Olympic Games in 1964. Going for a drive is so fun. cock a doodle -doo. Like Clucky says, Tokyo's roads are quite complex. Once Tokyo won the right to host the Olympic Games, the government began expanding the road and highway network. It's becoming much more convenient to get around. The new expressways don't have traffic signals, so traffic can get around faster than ever before. I guess that's why they got that name. Okay, let's do this. Catch up to the taxi Dr. Eggman is in. Chase down and stop Dr. Eggman's car using the spin attack on it four times. For the best time to complete the minigame as fast as you can. Tilt control stick to move Sonic. Hold A to speed up. Press B for a spin. Attack when you catch up to Dr. Eggman's car. Dodge cars on the road as you advance. Hitting one results in a loss of speed. Grazing them will earn you bonus points. Use dash panels to speed up. Avoid banana peels as they slow you down. Sonic plus Mario Kart. The game is over if you run out of time. Reaching a checkpoint will extend the remaining time. 
Highway Chase. Are you pushing? I think I hold. Yeah, I just hold. Oh, come on. That was a mean car. Gotcha, Eggman. Now spill the chill beans. Where are you going? What? Hold on. You're not Eggman. Oink. Oink. His name's Picky. Why, it's Picky. Did Eggman hire you to impersonate him? Hiring someone to get him... Hiring someone to get into a cabin in an Eggman getup. Leave it to him to come up with a cheap trick like that. Oink, oink, oink. And he hasn't paid you yet? I'm so sorry to hear that. Oh, that's rude. Cheap to the end. I get why you want to snort at him. Oink, oink, oink. Eggman's talking about a big flame. I think we can work with that. Let's go figure out exactly where it is. You can now play Highway Chase in the game room. And we're off. To the National Stadium. Get to the base of the Olympic cauldrons from here. We reopened the past, so please feel free to look around. Found it! The big flame that Eggman was talking about is the Olympic cauldron. Let's keep an eye on things and see what they're up to. Chapter 9. Gotta get the golds. My analysis has found... <laughs> no way to free them. What? what? No way! But what about Dad? Is he gonna be stuck in the game forever? No, Dad. Your analysis could be wrong, couldn't it? Check it out one more time. <laughs> Rushing to conclusions. I simply do not know how to free them yet. But I'm remembering something. Something Eggman said when talking about his idea for this game long ago. <laughs> 
I believe he said he wanted to do something special with gold medals. Gold medals? <laughs> yes, yeah, some kind of trick in which gathering gold medals can have an effect inside the game. <laughs> it's unclear what kind of effect that would be, but it could be something that can change these circumstances. <laughs> so if we get a bunch of gold medals, we might just be able to rescue Sonic and Mario. That's a question mark. Oh yeah? I know what I'm gonna do then! I'm gonna participate in a ton of Olympic events and win all the gold medals! That sounds like a plan. I'm counting on you to get gold medals, Bowser Jr. Uh, yeah. That's the idea! Luigi, let's go win some gold medals for ourselves! Yeah, the sooner the better. Hey. <laughs> Do as you wish. I will continue my analysis here. If I, analyze, if I analyze the entire program, we should have complete comprehension of the game's contents. Oh, three tickets. Have you ever seen a really huge sports racket in table tennis? How big are the rackets allowed to be? Any size. There are no racket size restrictions for either single or doubles play, but most players just use rackets of around 140 to 160 millimeters in width. During a doubles match of table tennis, two teammates are required to hit the ball in a certain order. What order is that? Alternatively, in table tennis doubles, the two players must take turns to hit the ball. If they don't, they lose a point. What race is Zaz? One of Dr. Eggman's Deadly Six. I don't think dead Dr. Eggman owned the Deadly Six in any way. Or is that what he called them when he tried to... Anyway, he's a Zeddy. Zaz is always ready for a fight. He is trusted as a brave and powerful warrior by Zabok, the leader of the Deadly Six. <laughs> Table tennis is a popular event, so I had a tough time getting a ticket to the Tokyo Metropolitan Gymnasium. Alright, I'm saying it right. And that's it. How do we get out? Metropolitan. The Olympic Stadium. <laughs> Hello, Luigi. It seems like there's plenty of discover around if you take a walk around the venue. Uh, let's see here. Opening ceremony at the Olympic Stadium was awesome. I didn't have a ticket, so I watched it on TV. And yet you are here. <laughs> the Olympic Games are even more exciting because they're only held every four years. Good day. Ah, oh, Luigi and Tails, have you come to watch the competition, or perhaps you're planning to compete? Oh. What? Mario and Sonic? I can't possibly believe something so outrageous. Uh. It's the truth. We need gold medals so we can rescue Sonic and Mario. <laughs> well, you came just in time, then. I will now compete in the triple jump. Care to join me as an opportunity to win a gold medal. <laughs> I'll compete in this one. Mm. You will need to outjump me if you hope to win the gold, you know. Of course, you will need everything you got to take me on. Mm. Let's put that determination to the test then. Let the triple jump commence. 
defeat Espio in the triple jump. Press A repeatedly to run to the foul line. The faster you press the button, the faster you will run. Press the buttons in order to sh shown to hop, step, and jump. Okay, perfect rating on the hop, step, and jump for a super jump. Okay, looks like it's X, X, Y. They didn't show that on screen, so... Oh, now they do. I fouled. Yep. Foul. Well, dang it. It's okay, we get two attempts. Well, now I'm way behind it. Okay, at least I beat him. Bow! Don't get them. Alright, I know I could win this. That's another gold medal for us! I underestimated you and lost in one of my best events. I am disappointed in myself. I am grateful, Lainey. You have helped me to realize my shortcomings. Hmm. I shall embark on a journey to train once more. I wish for your success. You can now play as Espio in Triple Jump. Olympic Stadium sure is big. They hold track and field events here. The triple jump is called that because compared to long jump, you have to perform triple the number of takeoffs. A takeoff is when both feet leave the ground. What are the triple jump takeoffs? Hop, step, jump. To do these takeoffs, triple jumpers have two patterns to choose from. Left foot, left foot, right foot, right foot, right foot, left foot. What is Espio's favorite food? Oh, dango dumplings. As a ninja, Espio loves traditional Japanese sweets, especially dumplings made from rice flour. Is there anything else? No? Alright, let's go. Off to somewhere else. Let's see. Shibuya Scramble Crossing. There were so many people here, I thought there was some kind of festival nearby, but it's just an intersection. In front of Hachiko Square, there's an intersection of streets that is famous for the huge crowds of people who cross it. How many people typically cross during one day? Hundred thousands of people? Well, I was right about the hundred thousand zone. At this busiest street times? At the busiest times, there might be 3,000 people crossing all at once. People come from all over the world just to watch this happen. Right. I tried to count how many people crossed the intersection at once, but I ended up giving up halfway. Well, at least you made it halfway. Where was I going? <laughs> it 
it's just a regular crossing. Why are there so many people here, I wonder? See, we got books. We got music. We got coffee. Books, music. And Yoshi. Yashi, Yashi! Hey, everybody. Perfect timing. Really? How so? Yoshi, Yoshi. I got separated from my buddies that came to watch the events with me. Yoshi, Yoshi. We lost sight of each other somewhere around Shibuya Crossing, I think. Yeah, there's a ton of people here, so I can see that happening. Yoshi, Yoshi. So I was wondering if you might be willing to help me find them? Sure, but with this many people out, it's not going to be easy. Yoshi, I'll give you these entry passes as a thank you for helping me. Ooh, three of them. Entry passes? Wow, that's exactly what we're looking for. Yoshi, Yoshi! Challenge. Okay, so what you saw was a horrible, corrupted dialogue moment. The footage kind of got corrupted. This minigame ended up being unviewable. So I'm doing it again in the minigame tab. So we're going to be helping Yoshi find some friends. So here we go. Find four targets at Shibuya Crossing before time runs out. Go for the best time and complete the minigame as fast as you can. Use control stick to move the cursor and hold B to speed it up. Press A to select the character. Press L and R to zoom in and out. Find your target before time runs out to move on to the next target. Any remaining time will be added to the next search. If you choose the wrong character, you'll lose 10 seconds. The game is over once the timer reaches zero. And that's my time from the corrupted moment. So here we go. There's Luigi getting ready to look. We are looking for a yellow toad. And I already found him. We are looking for a red toad holding a fan. Let's see, present. Yellow toad holding a cane. An umbrella. Yeah. Blue Toad holding an ice cream shake. See the fan. Shy the fan. Shy guys. Blue Toads with presents. Uh, nothing. 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 More blue toes with nothing. Blue toes with nothing. 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 Nada. Present. Nothing. Present. Nothing. 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 More nothing. There's a boundary, so you can't go too far. How hard is it to find a guy with a freaking
I cannot find this toad. Oh! I have found the toad. I did not beat the record. Did I? No, I did not. Alright, let's go back to the story where the dialogue afterward is still corrupted, but I did my best, so... I am sorry for the minor inconvenience. But after uh, the dialogue, it uh, managed to fix itself for the rest of the part, so... Alright, roll it. Wow, passes for the Yomen no Shonshima Park, Archery Field, the Sea Forest Waterway, and the Tokyo Metrop Metropolitan Government Building. You'll be able to enter lots of new events now. But why are you looking for passes and competing in the events? Yoshi, Yoshi. Well, we need to win gold medals so we can help Mario and Sonic. Help them? What happened? Yoshi, Yoshi? Yoshi, Yoshi, really? Then there's no time to be spectating. Hey, how about I come along with you, Yoshi, Yoshi? I'll help you help, I'll help you help Mario and Sonic, Yoshi, Yoshi. Uh, what about your buddies? It's okay, I'll make plans with them to spectate together later, Yoshi, Yoshi. Fair enough. Okay, let's get going then. Thanks, I'll do my best. Yoshi! Yoshi. Yoshi has joined. Entry passes C, D, and E acquired. You can now play Shibuya Scramble. Search in the game room. Mario's kind, chill ally from Yoshi's Island. His long tongue lets him gobble up fruit and foes alike and turn them into eggs. Okay, I did read that one. I don't know, for some reason I probably didn't read Vector, but I think I did. How do we get out of here? First things first. Where might one of those trivia slips be? Because I'm pretty sure there's going to be one for Yoshi somewhere. No, no, not yet. No. So many people making me dizzy. Chow chow. Here it is. What is Yoshi's favorite food? Fruit? Melons. However, melons are not the reason Yoshi is green. That's why it's possible to have Yoshis in other colors like red, light blue, and pink. Still a fruit. But I wasn't specific. Oh well. I'm bad. Tokyo Metropolitan Gold Government Building. Yomenoshina Archery Park. Sea Forest Waterway. We can go to those places. Where is it telling us to go next? The Waterway. Yeah, I might be able to squeeze in one more event after this. For this part. Squeeze in one more. Yeah! You should check out the canoe event at the Sea Forest Waterway. The competitors are so fast they'll make your head spin. In canoe sprint, athletes paddle in a straight line. In canoe sla slalom, they paddle on rapids. Which event will take place at the Sea Forest Waterway? Canoeing. Canoe sprint. The canoe slalom event will take place at the Kasai Canoe Slalom Center, a white water rapids course with many gates to paddle through. Yeah! The 
canoe sprint is a speed competition held in the Sea Forest Waterway straight course. I got Wario freeze framing while he's scratching his butt. Unbelievable. Good freeze frame, Wario. What event are you going to watch today? Or are you going to compete? The sea Forest Waterway is facility developed in a waterway between tracks of reclaimed land. In the canoe event, the paddle has a single blade. The athletes paddle and balance on one knee. Alright, here we go. Yeah. Well, well, look who it is. Luigi and Tails. I bet you want to interview us MVPs, but that have to wait. We're about to win this event. Ha 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 ha. My canal event is about to start, but we got bad news for everyone else. We're teaming up. And we're the best, worst pair you've ever seen. How conflicting. Yeah, we're basically a golden pair of pure perfection. Which means there's no medal for us but the gold. That gold medal's as good as ours. What? You got a problem with that? Sorry, the complaint desk is closed. We're here to win the gold medal, too. You may be a golden pair, but Luigi and I won't lose. We'll see who earns the gold medal. Ha! <laughs> you two against the unbelievably awesome, totally rad golden pair? Both of ya? Kiddo. Bold of ya, kiddo. I misread that. Sorry, Waluigi. He's the main dude. Yeah. School's about to be a session. Today's lesson, no one when you're outclassed. Hey. Yeah, we ain't just taking the gold. Gold, silver, bronze, all the medals are ours. Wario, Waluigi, and the canoe event. As the event begins, hold R to charge power. Tilt down at go to start. Tilt down to paddle. Match your paddling speed with your partners to go faster. If your timing is off, you will slow down. When you reach the last 300 meters, it's time for the final push. Don't worry about timing. Just paddle as quickly as you can. Mario Waluigi. Gotta be in sync with your partner. Oh, what? I thought it was the last 300 meters, we just do that. How misleading. Somehow. I was told 300 meters, pick up the pace or something, and then they just gave me the pick up the pace message. I feel misled. Uh. Wah! All that trash talking, nothing to show for it. I want to do over! Need to match my pace, Waluigi. We lost because of you. That's so mean. What? You match my pace. We could have gone way faster if your stubby little arms weren't so clumsy. Hey, it ain't over yet, though. We still got plenty of chances to get gold medals. What? Your people are collecting gold medals, too? 
makes you our rivals, don't it? We can't just sit around and watch a rival take all the gold. Yeah, Wario, let's pretend to help them. And then maybe they'll let us borrow their gold medals later. A good plan, or the best plan? You kind of said it out loud. Wattastic, if you ask me. Wattastic! Alright, T, if you want gold medals, and we want gold medals, then we can all work together to get gold medals. We're all gonna join forces to the ultimate golden super team! We'll do whatever it takes to win. <laughs> Mario and Waluigi have joined. Maybe. Yeah, the more the merrier, but those two, they must be up to something. Oh, that's right. Bowser Jr. said he was going to search for gold medals, too. I wonder how that's going. Well, no point in worrying. Let's just keep doing our thing. There are two boat types in the canoe event. One of them is simply called the canoe, but do you know what the other one is called? Kayak. In a kayak, the athlete paddles on both sides. In a canoe, the athlete kneels to the boat and paddles on just one side. What is Wario's favorite food? Garlic. Garlic is a strong herb, so that might explain Wario's ridiculously high stamina. Maybe he eats it by the handful every day. Our Wario, our Waluigi and Wario brothers, like Luigi and Mario? Nope. Waluigi and Wario are many things, schemers, rogues, all overall dastardly ties, but one thing they are not is related. And that's it for this part, see you in the next. This one might be long, but I don't know.